Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Backer, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of the Candida range of dietary supplements. Thanks for checking out my video today. Today I'm going to teach you about Blastocystis hominis, a parasite that tends to affect quite a lot of people that I see, people that consult with me you know, uh, through Skype you know, or FaceTime. They often talk about digestive problems. And a lot of this will entail blasto, which we're going to talk about in this series on blastocystis hominis. Before you check out the video, please click on the link on this video right now so you can download my free report. And also don't forget to subscribe because I really enjoy making these videos, and particularly if I've got a lot of subscribers, I'll enjoy it even more. So let's get into it. What is blastocystis hominis? It's a weird name. It sounds almost like some kind of a space creature or something. <clears throat> Many people are confused and... Um, I often get asked what blasto is. So I've got a question here from a, a guy called Robert Conlon in Yazoo City. Yazoo City in Mississippi. I thought it was Yahoo City, but it's Yazoo City. So Robert, I'm going to tell you a bit about blasto, what it is, how it affects you, what the causes are, what the signs and symptoms are. But we're going to you know, make these videos in chunks. We're not going to just do one huge big video on blasto. So blasto is basically a parasite that really affects people quite bad in some cases. It can really affect you uh, seriously, your intestinal tract, and create a lot of different signs and symptoms. So it's passed from, you know, one, <coughs> excuse me, it's either passed from a human being or from an animal to a host. So all sorts of animals can get affected uh, by blasto. I mean, rats, chickens, mice, cows, dogs, cats, you know, domesticated animals, wild animals, <clears throat> it's a small parasite with an outer hard shell. In fact, it can live for long periods of time outside of the intestinal tract. So it can be picked up through soil or water and transferred from you know, an, a, an, uh, an animal fecal matter to a human quite easily that way on different surfaces. It can be picked up through diaper changing. It can be picked up through utensil sharing. Water is the common contamination source of blasto. Blasto is very common throughout the United States, it's in Europe, it's in most developed nations now. And in the last 20 years, <clears throat> it's become a serious problem in a lot of countries. It's amazing how many stool tests I've performed on patients and seeing that they have a blastocystis hominis infection. So I really want you to check out this video series on blasto and try and get your head around it because it could be affecting you right now. You could be you know, uh, going to your doctor complaining of digestive system problems and the doctor may not even test for blasto. So this is a really important video series to highlight also uh, in terms of uh, personal hygiene, why you need to wash hands and be careful You know when you go traveling in different countries, the type of water that you drink, the type of food you eat. Uh, so personal hygiene is a, is a very big thing. Another route you can pick it up from is swimming in municipal swimming pools or drinking water from wells, you know, in certain countries, uh, you know, where it's not, there's not a lot of hygiene or sanitation. So just be very careful when you go traveling, because water is probably the easiest source for you to pick up blastocystis. As I mentioned, it can live for long periods of time outside of the digestive tract. <clears throat> it mainly affects the large intestine, and we'll soon see in another video all the signs and symptoms of blasto infection. It's easily transmitted from human to human or from animal to human. And personal hygiene is certainly uh, you know, one way that you can really prevent this thing from happening. I've seen many men, women, and a lot of children with blasto infections. And in some cases, the infection lasts for one or two months. And in some cases, it can last for 10 years. I've had patients in many countries around the world with blasto infections. And I'm going to show you in this video series how to nail this infection, how you can get rid of it. Not only how to get rid of it, but how you can prevent getting it in future. So please stay tuned to uh, this series on Blastocystis hominis. Did I say subscribe? Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.